wanted to share a quick update with some good news. We have now gotten all our results back from bone scan, CAT scan, MRI, met with my urologist, got the report, everything looks contained. So for me, that's great. I hope you also are getting good news with uh, if you're going through the same process. Uh, but if not, there, there are lots of different options. I'm gonna share with you my options and my thought process going forward based on my age, 52, and results that I have, I think it's grade two uh, cancer that is contained. And so given my age, I decided to go ahead, I could go with some radiation, uh, I decided to go ahead and, and get a prostatectomy, a robotic prostatectomy, so that I could just get it out. I think I'll just feel better that way. So the big decision now for me is who do I go with and or what to do? And there's not really one right option or one wrong option. It's just whatever you or whoever I feel comfortable with. So, and there are differences. And in speaking to some friends who are urologists and my own urologist, you have to determine, do you want to go to a big teaching hospital where the person who you want and who might be the renowned person might be doing the whole operation, or might be doing part of the operation, have some residents doing it, or might be doing very little of the operation. So that's a little bit tricky. If uh, the numbers are, are pretty similar between doing that option or going to someone who is not at a major teaching hospital, might not be doing it as regularly, uh, but is the main person doing it and you know there's not a resident doing it, who could be fine, but it's just, you have to check on that. I ended up talking to a handful of, of people, getting some recommendations from friends who've had it, had a prostatectomy, and my urologist and my friend who's also a urologist. And so now I've set up some meetings. It, everything takes a bit of time. So um, in about three weeks, <coughs> so use my cough, I had COVID, uh, a few weeks ago for the first time, and I can't get rid of this, this, this cough. So apologies for that. But, um, so anyway, I set up a couple of meetings with, with some doctors who are renowned and I have to check to see what vibe I get. And it's pretty much, you just go with whoever feel you feel most confident with. So I'm starting that process mid April to, to meet with them, have some consultations. They'll check me out. I'll get um, probed a little bit, I suppose. And then and then I'll make a decision and hopefully by mid-May or end of May, I'll be able to have the prostatectomy and, um, and then start the recovery. So that's it for now. So there's not really much more happening for the next few weeks with me. Thank you so much for all your support and for checking and being concerned. I feel, I actually feel really great about the prospects. It's just great to, more information is mo' better. Um, I feel really relieved to sort of know what the status is and to be able that I could then make decisions to go forward. So that's it for me. Thanks so much. Now I'm gonna throw it over to my nephew Noah to sing us out. A tutor, a family man, completing a ton. You might have kids, but he's still having fun. When health is a style, there is no way to go. So check on the vlog, this is his battle, yo. Mark, my, my, mark, my, mark, my, mark, hi, Mark, my, mark, my, mark, hi, man. Mark, my, mark, my, mark, my, mark, hi, Mark, hi,